That's pretty. Sure. Your children would lose you, wouldn't they? Not your children anymore, are they? Not clients. Clients, yeah. Well, true. But I mean, both Everybody would have a seat or getting ready to start the service. At this time, if you would either silence your phones or turn them off for respect to the family.
Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Howard W. Casting, 89, of Plainfield, formerly of Mooresville. Today we celebrate his life, and you remember, and I remember that he was born May 26, 1931, in Montgomery County, uh, Kentucky. I want you to remember today that Mr. Cassidy proudly served his country in the U.S. Army during the Korean War. I also want to make sure that you remember that he, he applied the engineering skills that he had developed in service with a 39-year career with civil corps of engineering retiring in 19. 95. He was a member of First United Methodist Church in, in here, right here in Mooresville. Also, I want to make sure you remember today that he was preceded in death by a very special wife. And Howard never, he never quite ever, I don't think he ever quite got over his, his wife's death. He, uh, they, they had a special relationship, and, and through the years, it, it became obvious that uh, he, uh, he never did quite ever, ever get, get over that. He, he adjusted and made friends, and he worshiped at First United Methodist Church here in town. He, he was a part of the, the choir and a part of a, a lot of different things. He made friends, he celebrated life, he uh, he enjoyed life. I did know Mr. Casty and, and he, he was uh, he was he was lots of fun and we celebrate his life today. You know we go back into the Old Testament a very familiar Psalm, Psalm twenty three, and David, he said the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. I want you to notice that David says, Yea, though I walk through the valley, experience the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. David didn't stop midway going through that valley, but he, he continued his journey and, and he walked all the way, all the way through. Notice that the psalm writer is aware that God is with us in good times and in creative times. And David says, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Would you pray with me? God, we thank you for Mr. Cassidy's life. We thank you for his family, and we thank you that, uh, God, you've been with him not only these last few weeks and months and years, but you've been with him when he came into this world. You've been with him every day of his life. And you were with him when he left this world. And God, you're still with him. And we thank you for your presence, God, being with us. And we thank you for your promises today. Yes, it's in Jesus' name we pray. You know, as we celebrate Mr. Cassidy's life today, uh, I want you to remember that he enjoyed life, and he accomplished uh, a lot of things. But it's today is one of those days that it, it, it's we're aware that we celebrate life, but we're also 
aware that we've experienced a loss. We uh, said goodbye to a loved one. And, and to say goodbye to a loved one, is it, it, it throws us kind of back on our family and, and faith. And the very fact that we grieve is proof that we were loved and, and we love. You know, we're kind of like kids sometime, aren't we, that uh, we got lost in the mall or got lost at uh, Kings Island or lost in the woods. And, and then we hear a very, very familiar voice. And it's a, such a welcoming voice. And I, I think of today is that we are inclined in the time of death to, to sort of lose our way. And that's when we begin to hear that voice of God, that, that still small voice that, that speaks to us and that scripture speaks to us. And David, as a psalm writer, reminds us that God's like a shepherd. He, he takes care of our every need. He's with us every hour and every moment. You know, it was in the scripture we read of, of great people that in, in creative times and, and, and trying times that they would turn to God. And someone has said, if you've got faith in God, you got everything that you need. And these people in the scripture, they found that they had everything that they needed. But, you know, there's a mystery uh, about death. And there's things about it that, I don't understand. I, I bet there's things about it you don't understand. But whatever the mystery of it might be, a part of it is, is to rest. To rest in the presence of God. To rest with family. To rest in the promise of, of Scripture. You know, we've got grandkids now, and they, they play so hard during the day, and, and then... At, at night, they're so tired, and they need a nap. They need to rest, and it's amazing how that after a, a nap or after resting all night, of, of how that their strength is renewed, and and how that uh, the rest is so important. And in the scripture, rest is so important. Another mystery about death is, is peace. And somehow or another, we hear the words of John 14, 27, and God just so gently, he says, my peace, I give it to you. Can't you see Mr. Cassidy today resting in the presence of God? You know, after dealing with some things, dementia and the like, uh, can't you seem so peaceful in the presence of God? Can you, can you realize today that all of the struggles of life the last few weeks, all of that, it's over. It's done. And the rest of the peace so unique. You know, there's something about home. And I, I'm not talking about uh, the building, the facility, the color of the, the walls or the carpet. Uh, that, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about home, that place that you and I a home that is so special where that you can rest and, and be at peace and, and somehow get off of the merry-go-round of life and, and somehow you, you know when you go home what a what a special place that is. Jesus talks about in the scripture in John 14 he talks about uh, in his father's home a, a special place. Uh, special rooms, uh, a special facility, uh, 
a special place prepared. It, it was years ago, our youngest son had a big birthday party and had all the kids over and they played all day, wrestled around and did all the video games and all that stuff, and ate all the pizza and, and uh, all the junk food, and all the fun things that, uh, that kids like to do. And then it got that time, it was time to, to go to bed. This one little old guy, I looked at him, he had a, a big old tear run down the side of his face. And I called him by name. He said, man, what's the matter? And he, he said, I just want to go home. All day, he's happy. He's playing with his friends, with his buddy. All day, he'd had a ball. But when it was time to rest, he wanted, he just wanted to go. He wanted to go home. Don't you think, Mr. Cassidy, that uh, you just read? He wanted to go home. And uh, the special home, a special facility, a special place, a place that God had prepared for. A place where that he will be loved. A place that there's absolutely, positively nothing that can separate him from God's love. I believe Mr. Cassidy is to be congratulated today. He's finished the course of life. He's finished what God has called him to do. He's been invited to come home and to dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Would you pray with me? I want to invite you to close with a very special prayer, our Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory.